so much for joining me on here. Yeah, sure. Of course. I'm so excited to have you. Um, everyone at the Food Bank loves your song. We're so excited that it's released. Um, and I loved your video, everything you did with it. So thank cool. Um, so thank you for doing that. Thank you for everything you've been doing so far in your year as Youth Ambassador. Oh, um, of course. And I'll just get started asking you some questions about your song. So cool. I want to ask first, where did the first spark of inspiration for the song come from? So I was actually visiting the food bank and Marie, who works there, she was telling me a story. Um, you know, she was explaining to me that food insecurity is a lot more prevalent than people think it is. And she was saying that it's like the little things that, you know, people don't even think of, like having, a, you know, not being able to buy a birthday cake for your child on their birthday. And uh, that was the first thing that made me think of like the mother daughter relationship that I chose to write about. And then in the bridge of the song, I incorporated that, um, you know, on my birthday, you couldn't afford a cake thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I really, really loved that line. And I think you had so many like, amazing instances of imagery in your song where like, you could really see the picture that you were painting and it just made it so much more powerful. <laughs> Thank you. But so on to the next question, do you have any favorite lines in your song? I do. Um, the bridge is a, it's like my favorite part of the song. And um, my favorite line is um, when I say, that's when I knew that the best things in life are truly free and that money is no match for the time you spend with me. Because really, you know, when we grow up, it's, um, you know, the things we remember about our childhood are a lot of, a lot of the time it's more like our parents spending time with us versus, you know, all the things that they could buy us or. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's that kind of like the really positive, incredible. positive part of the song, because um, it is a really sad song. And, um, but that's kind of where I was able to incorporate some sort of positivity. Yeah, and I thought that was a great way to go about it, because like you said, it was like a really, it's a really heavy subject, and it can be hard to put like a positive spin on it, but I think you did a really great job. Um, and you know, like, even though these children still get to experience those great times with their parents, um, you know, we are working at the Food Bank South Jersey to make sure that they do get to eat. And so your song has been like such a great addition to that mission, especially with everything going on right now. It's just like the cherry on top of getting our message out there. Definitely. So my next question for you is, what kind of feedback have you gotten? I know you posted it on your YouTube channel, um, so your YouTube audience was able to enjoy it. But what kind of what kind of feedback have you been getting from everyone? Yeah, people have been saying that it's very sad. Um, I mean, it's very sad, and um, mm -hmm. you know the people have been sharing it, which is great because you know the the main point of the song is to get the message out there and spread awareness because there is something we can do right now. So you know, and we're right. doing it. right. So do you think that your um, your following has been carrying that message and maybe even referring to the Food Bank of South Jersey and seeing what they can do to help I out do, with this? I do. A few people have reached out to me and um, asked about, you know, where to, where to even get help and stuff. So I've shared like links and everything from, you know, the Food Bank of South Jersey website and Feeding America too. So that's amazing. That's so great to hear. Um, so what are you hoping to um, do in terms of performing your song? Do you have anything planned? Um, anything you're working on with the food bank in terms of getting it out there, like in a performance? Yeah, definitely. Um, I hope to, you know, perform at a lot of the food bank uh, South Jersey's events this year. I know everything is kind of like on hold for now. Um, I was supposed to perform like the Hunger Games, which isn't happening um, anymore, but <laughs> I hope that in the fall and stuff, uh, I know that September is Hunger Awareness Month, so um, we were talking about, you know, maybe doing some sort of like concert thing then. Uh, but I'm sure that, you know, you guys ha always have so many events and everything. So I'm sure I'll end up performing it somewhere. <laughs> yes, definitely. You know, we would love to have you perform at some of our events. Um, and we're just so excited to see it get out there more and see like what the feedback is from the general public and hopefully, yeah. you know, we'll get some more involvement from your song. And already, like you said, we've been seeing it. So it's been really great. Um, so what are you hoping that your followers get out of listening to this song? Like what was your mission when you were writing it? 
um, what message are you trying to send? Um, I'm really just trying to spread awareness that food insecurity is a big issue. Um, before I started, before I got heavily involved with the food bank, I didn't even, um, you know, I didn't realize how many people struggle with this. And, you know, it's because a lot of people are um, embarrassed, I guess, and they, no one talks about it. And um, so no one really knows about it unless you're going through it or you um, work with the food bank or stuff, or you've seen it firsthand. So I think that especially people, you know, that are young and don't know that this is such a big issue, uh, you know, letting them know that, you know, hey, it is an issue and there's something we can do about it right now. We can volunteer, we can donate and um, yeah, so. Yeah, and I think that's like exactly what is needed from you as a youth ambassador because if you're right, like I was that person once too, like I had no idea what it was like um, yeah. for people who are food insecure, like, and if you don't experience it, you don't know. And so it's so important for people like you who have a platform locally to be able to, you know, get that message out there. And so we're really grateful that you're doing that. Um, and then, so my last question for you is, are you planning like a music video or anything exciting with the song um, to go along with the release that you had last Friday? I hope so. Um... I do want to do a music video. It'll depend on like how much we have um, in the budget for that, but I really hope so because it's definitely a powerful story that could be told in a lot, you know, in a really great way through visuals. And um, I could just see the whole video in my head. So I hope we get to do a music video. Yay, okay, that's so exciting. Well, we'll be looking forward to that if that's on your radar anytime soon. Um, but thank you so much for talking with me. Um, do you want to let everyone know where they can find you on social media? Absolutely. Um, my Instagram is at CC Miles. Facebook is at CC Miles Music. Um, my YouTube is just CC Miles. <laughs> and uh, my, <laughs> my website is also ccmiles.com. And if you go there, you can find links to like all my social media. So you don't have to remember, but again, it's just CC Miles pretty much for everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Cece. I really appreciate this and good luck with everything else that you do in your year as youth ambassador. Oh, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Seven a.m. I wake to the sweet sound of cracking eggs I run downstairs and mama smiling she finally got paid it's days like today that I wish could last forever days when it's better and I think we might be okay but the week goes by and it's that time when mama can't afford to feed me and i can hear her cry at night but i just pretend i'm sleeping she's a hard worker but sometimes it ain't enough i tell her it don't matter even when it does